What's up everybody? Welcome to Brentwood, Tennessee. This is Jose and with me is Katie. And on this morning we're going to take you guys on a tour through the southern suburbs of Nashville. One of the fastest growing metropolitan areas in the country where people are flocking to from Colorado, California and other places that really suck. Real estate here is not affordable but the views are beautiful. Let's explore. Katie, what statistical analysis do you have when it comes to this Tennessee location? Break it down, women. It has 42,000 people. 42,000 people. They're, they're itching on 43. 90% um, of the population, 90 of the is, population Caucasian. is Caucasian. There are fine elements of the Caucasian representation in the city representing. That's all I got. Yeah. 2% Hispanic. 2% Hispanic. 5% Asian. 5% Asian. When there's 5% Asian in your community, you know there's a lot of money. Yeah. Asian people drive well. They don't care too much about education, but they're great drivers. The median household income is find it. Katie can't find the incomes, even though it's right in her face. No, they have it weirded different than the other ones. They have it weirded. Worded. Worded. We're gonna buy you that. What's that thing? What's that YouTube ad we got earlier? We're gonna get Katie on Grammarly. So she can learn how to punctuate her sentences accordingly. 138,000 median income. Say what? How much money are these people making? 138,000. $138,000. These people are raking it in. Even though their road is under construction, they're still able to have a lot of money. Hundred and now. For what? For what? 151,000 what? Mexicans? No, average income is Well, you straight. have to say average income yeah. for this. Don't you know how to talk already? Like, you're like a grown adult. You just threw a number at me. 155 what? 155 Mexicans? Cambodians? What? In 2010, the average home price was six hundred twenty-five thousand, and it's gone up since then. Six hundred thousand dollars get you a home in Brentwood, Tennessee. What's the population you're getting? Forty-three thousand. Forty-three thousand people making a crap load of money. The per capita income for the city is fifty-eight thousand. Fifty-eight thousand dollars per capita, gentlemen. That is one healthy individual. This individual can afford to have Starbucks whenever they want. They can drive a BMW if they want. They can go to the Kirk Centenco Geckos whenever they want. These people are balling. If these people want to buy a car, they can buy it. If they want to buy a house, they can buy it. If they want to eat a bison steak on a Wednesday night, they'll have it delivered to their home Probably by that one or two Mexicans that live here. Is this what? Two percent Latino? Yeah. Right, yeah. Where are the houses and stuff here? We Whoa, look at those houses up there. Yeah. Orale vato. Those Yo, <laughs> look at those houses. Yeah. Hold on, bro. I gotta go check this out. We're not gonna respect traffic laws because we're in a rich area. The cops here are not worried about crime. They're not worried about your driving. They're worried about how they're gonna be able to afford housing. <laughs> Yo, did you see the size of these houses? Will they arrest us for, look at this. Katie, 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 Katie. Yes. Check it out, man. Yo. Tremenda casa city. Ah, that Whoa. Is yeah. like as big as a white house. Forget about the White House. These people don't have jobs. Yeah. <laughs> people in the White House, they, they gotta wake up in the morning and talk to the press. And so these people are just like, yo, que clase casa city. That people balling, man. 
Look at the size of this house up here. Let me take a picture of this for the cover photo. Let me take a picture real quick. These people balling, man. I said I need to look at the map real quick too. They even have a porta potty for poor people outside. Or for their employees not to come bother them. You know you're rich when you can afford a porta potty for your bobcat driver. Mm -hmm. Yo. Oh look at the view from up here. Mm -hmm. Man. We're just on a crappy road. We started to tour on a crappy road. It's getting fixed. Okay, go. I said, I saw hey, morning, man. Look at the view, too. Bro. It's balling out here, man. You got to step your game up, Katie. You got to step your game Me? I'm already doing what I can. I can't go anymore. If you, get rid of if you ever get a lot of money, you won't get rid of me, will you? Never. Never? You're uh, stuck with me. I'm not saying yeah, if you get a lot of money, I'm definitely stuck. Believe me, you get you some money, huh? You definitely you ain't gonna be able to get rid of me if you get some money. Believe me. Take a picture of that house right there. Looks like a White House or something. That'll make a good cover for it. We run around. Take a picture of like the front uh, house facing forward. Okay, grab the phone, bro. Listen. I didn't say to you. Okay, you you shopped the whole house. There you go. Yeah, don't shop the half the house off in the photo. You really don't put too much effort in this stuff, man. I did. You did not put effort into that. You I put, put like, my window down. Yeah, barely. You took a photo of like half the house. Yo, this isn't even like, this is what the city looks like pretty much. They have a Brentwood market. Let's go there. Let's go there, man. <laughs> Do they got Starbucks? A Starbucks? Yeah. I think these people might be like beyond Starbucks. Like, oh, Starbucks, that's, that's for up and coming folks. <laughs> that's for the wanna be one i'm sure there's like they're on the, like some other thing here like oh these are the starbucks people like, that's over in franklin <laughs> i couldn't believe the incomes of this place yeah i feel like i'm in colorado or something i don't even feel like i'm still in like the south mm -hmm. look at the views Man. and then they got diversity because they got columbia restaurants not too far from and here. And Nashville, yeah. Everything's in Nashville. Well, I mean, in common places, yeah. It's like... That one market. There it is. It's fancy. Yo. That's the fanciest gas station and I've And that's not seen. gated, is it? Nope. Whoa, but they're not gated. That means there's, like, no crime concern at all. If there was a crime concern, it's yeah. supposed to be gated. Yeah. I wonder what happened to all the poor people that used to live in Nashville. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Nashville used to be a hood back in the day. Uh, Way more hood. We lived in Louisville. And we thought Nashville was hood. Mm -hmm. So go figure. But it's changed. I mean, like, it went from being Nashville to being Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Look at yeah, there's like a bunch of like uh, famous people here. I'm sure there's famous people here too in this town. Yeah. Like there are over in Franklin. Yeah. Yo, this is on a whole different level though. I wonder if there are stingiest people in Florida. We should put up a Craigslist out here and like just pretend like we live here and we're trying to get work just to see like how stingy people are. Remember we did that in like in Sebring before we moved? We put yeah. up like Craigslist ads for work. Yeah. It wasn't too good. No, it didn't go over very well. They're like, no, we're not gonna hire. Whoa, look at this, bro. Dang, look at these houses, bro. We got a few calls. I should FaceTime my dad. Yeah. We got a few calls off that, but we Yeah, they weren't great calls. And they didn't want to pay. That's a good way to find out if yeah. you want to move somewhere, like if you have a small business. Mm -hmm. Just put up a, a small business. Even like if you have to like pretend like you're busy or whatever and then never call people back again. But at least like to scope out the area to see if people answer the phone and like yeah. if they'll actually, yo, dude. This is fancy stuff out here. You got the mountains out in the back with the clouds coming over. Look at those houses up on the hill up there. Whoa. This is nice and way no, it's nicer than Huntsville. Huntsville's like the baby of this place here. Nice. 
How do I get up there? I guess I can take this road down this way. I might be able to get up that hill. It looks really nice up there. This is just as pretty as Alabama, by the way. They just don't build stuff like this in Alabama. Yeah. As far as like natural beauty, this is just as beautiful. Harf Row Hills. This is just as beautiful as Alabama. With the only difference being that they don't build houses like this in Alabama. Yeah. But as far as natural beauty, this is about the same. Yeah. That's a lot of places in Alabama. I'm gonna stop at the stop sign. I guess if I stop, I'm gonna slide backwards. Pretty steep. Hey, oh, it's, it's the weekend. We can't really find out about that ticket, can we? No. We have to wait 10 days. Very fancy. Mm -hmm. Let's see. There's like houses way up on the hill up there. Like you got a giant house and you got like an even giant house on top of it. Yeah. They get a lot of snow here. Can you imagine driving through here on like a snowy day? Yeah. It would not be fun. Unless you got a four by four and not afraid to crash it into the woods. Yeah. Bro, they got say gas I say. Just beautiful. And there's like another community right on top of this community. Mm -hmm. Straight up. They still make more money off the middle class than you ever will off the ultra wealth because they don't get rid of like like their furniture doesn't break. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when they buy a piece of furniture, it's like nobody's gonna break their furniture. Yeah. When they order a couch, the company that delivers their couch takes that old one. Like there's really not a lot of possibility mm -hmm. to make a crap load of money off these ultra rich people. Like you'd think there would be, but there ain't. Mm -hmm. and when they order a couch, they the, the company that sends them the new couch takes away the old one. Yeah. Because it's from a really fancy place. You know? Yeah. Um look at all the little finches. Yeah. It's actually a lot harder to make money off these people than you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Look at the view. Incredible. Mm -hmm. You guys are only seeing like straight ahead on this camera. I wish you guys could tilt your head as fast as I tilt mine here. And just see like 360. The views of this place are incredible in all directions. Mm -hmm. Hello. Just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff out here. People do seem friendly. Yeah. Look at this house right here, man. So good. Can you see what houses go for out here, bro? Probably a lot more than down there. These are in the millions of millions, probably, right? Probably. Okay, so there's even nicer houses over this way. Dead end, no turnaround. Ah, oh, you can't go over there. Dang. Go over this way. Yeah, I guess. I'll find another way to get back over there. Mm -hmm. See, I take it to nice places. Mm -hmm. And you wanted to go to the hoods. Oh, Woke up this morning, got take me to the hood. I want to see the hood. My baby, let's go look at some nice suburbs. I don't want to see nice stuff. I want to go to the hood. Mm -hmm. Tell me that wasn't you this morning. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm like, baby, they got some beautiful suburbs. Let's go look at that shit. I want to see the hood. Get some barbecue on Third Street. <laughs> You're so good. I was just. 
trying to go to the hood. Come on, man. You're gonna go to Nashville and go to the hood. What's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Ten minutes later, we're in the hood. Yeah. This has got to be a scary place to drive when it like sleets and stuff. You would think they would do this in Alabama where the weather's a little bit mild. I guess people like seeing snow. I guess when you're this fit wealthy mm -hmm. and you're driving around in a Range Rover, it, it makes sense to want to see some snow. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Like we may, uh, yeah. we don't want to see snow because we have to work in it. But these people, they don't have to work in it. Mm -hmm. They're fine with seeing snow from the, you know. Mm -hmm. This has got to be beautiful up here when it snows. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of snow. Or here. they could do what we do and go to Florida. Yeah. Get on an airplane and go to Florida. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't even have to drive there. They'll probably just hop on an airplane. Like Ted Cruz went to Cancun. Cancun. <laughs> it was snowing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Living the good. He you know has a right idea. You know he's Cuban. Yeah. Yeah, he's Cuban. He Cuban, man. Mm -hmm. he, he, he Cuban, man. People don't realize he's Cuban. Yeah. And people think he's like a redneck or something. They don't realize he's Cuban. Yeah. Yeah. Cubans are afraid of cold. Hmm? Cubans are usually afraid of the yeah, cold. Yeah. They don't realize he's, he's, of course he's going to be in Mexico. He's Cuban. He's not going to stay there when it's like snowing and crap. No. He's going to be like, oh, I'm going to whip my grandma out. That's hilarious. Mm. They caught him. Mm -hmm. I like Bernie Sanders. He toughed it out. Yeah. <laughs> he fell asleep. He, he, he toughed it he out. So, he like froze. Yeah. He, they, they had to like thaw him out later. Mm. They had to thaw him out, man. Not Ted Cruz. <laughs> he in Mexico, man. Bernie Sanders is there. I'm doing this for the people. <laughs> and I'm frozen. While well, sleeping. <laughs> oh man, I never thought that guy could bring a smile to my face, but he did. Yeah. Briefly for a moment. <sighs> okay, we can't really talk about these people too much. No, no. But that is hilarious. Yeah, they can just get out. If you got money, you can get out. Yeah. Forget about it. You're not gonna freaking cold. Estás loco, va a pasar frío. You think que yo va a pasar frío? You crazy? It's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Not a chance in the world, man. Yeah. You might have fun through here when it's icy. I'm sure every last one of these people has a 4x4 at some point, somewhere in their garage, somewhere. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, wheel drive. Excuse me using that Ugh. peasant term, 4x4. Four four. Oh, wheel drive. <laughs> and there's probably somebody like, ha <laughs> in these alley laughing at us, like, suck, please. We have a theater, a movie, and a store. We have a Starbucks in our house. We don't need to go anywhere. <laughs> This is big money out here. This is this is fancy stuff. I'm sure there's more famous people here than you could think of. Mm -hmm. You could look it up. I'm using the photos on that. We need a third phone. I can't believe we're at the point in life where two phones isn't enough. I am seriously considering instead of. You think I'm playing? I know you're not. I'm really thinking about getting a. We're gonna need a third phone. Yeah. We're, we're gonna, gonna need a third phone. That's yeah. crazy. Cause like right now I'm, I'm looking at the map on this phone. You know what I, I have stuck up. in my head when you're talking about that? iPhone 11? No. Is there a new one? No. I got two. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I got two phones. But uh, it's not for the plug or the load. It's for the yeah. <laughs> GPS and statistics. Statistic, local. statistical analysis. iPhone 11, we should get one. We have two of them. These are 10s. They're it's, 11s. Is there a 12 watt yet? Yes. Uh, I'm sure there's something fancier than one. These things have actually lasted pretty long. Yeah. The, the old ones we bought, you could tell they were bugged and they were made not to work for it. Yeah. Like you could tell they were rigged to like break. Yeah. Guys, the temperature right now is 58 degrees. Um, not bad for a cold rainy day. It's all right. I got two phones. Mm. One for the GPS, the other one for statistical analysis. Yeah, at the rate we're going, I don't even see us 
Couldn't we use that hop, the hot, the hot, what do they call the hot box? Is that what it's called? Can we just use that as a line and just buy the phone? What's going on across the street? That looks fancy. It's a subdivision. They're just putting like five really fancy houses. Is there a way well, you can get in there? There's no way at the gate, is there? No. And they're just building them. We can probably get in there and check it out. Mm -hmm. It's really small. Yeah, I can't believe how fancy this area is. There we go. Let's check it out. Let's go in there. There's, no, there's nobody at the gate. Let's check it out. Ambulances. And, and there's a Colombian restaurant. Bro, how do we live out here? Oman. This is called Oman. Oh, man. These people got money. <laughs> They're building some big old houses. Wow. Even the building materials look fancy, yo. Yo, shout out to everybody watching from Tennessee. If you're watching from Tennessee, what's up? If you're watching from Alabama, what's good? The GH. If you're watching from California, what's up? California, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Ohio are quiet, but I know you guys were watching too. Yeah. I don't like they hide back in there. Yo, esto está escapado, man. Esto está escapado, right? You know what I'm talking about, man? Oh, these red boxes came to Naples and they stole half our business. Hmm? Remember when these things came in April? Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah, we're gonna have to find something else to do for a little. Mm -hmm. Yo, fancy, fancy. Actually, it was supposed to be a small little. That's it right there. There ain't much to it, just a little development. Yep. Let's see if I can turn around somewhere. This house is already built. Right up here, you can turn around. This is some, some fancy wow. stuff out here. Nice. Bro, I get in there. Mm -hmm. I can see good in there. But Tennessee is even like living in like. An hour from here, it's still expensive. But in Alabama, you can live near like good areas and just be like, look at the little mm -hmm. robin on the tree. Yeah. Even the phone signals better mm -hmm. here. I gotta send these photos. I, I just put them on Facebook. All those photos I've taken. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, I should just put some of them. I don't know. You ready for a bandeja paisa? I haven't had a Colombian before in a while. Why can't we live somewhere like this, dang it? Why well, we gotta live in Millbrook, Alabama? I wanna live in, what's the place called? Brentwood. Brentwood, uh, why can't I live in Brentwood, bro? We'll wait and see. I gotta live in crappy places. It's not fair, I wanna live it's here. It's not bad. Just, I wanna pick one of these houses I out. like where we live. I like, I do like where we live, but dang it, why can't we live here? We'll see what are these people goes. done in life that we haven't? Okay, my brain's registering a list right now. My brain is loading right now. My brain's, here's my brain. Calculating. Page 198, page 400, page 500, page 700, page 1200. <laughs> Currently loading. My brain is loading a list of things these people have done with their lives that I haven't. Yeah. How about going to school for one? <laughs> How about being born in the wealth? Couldn't that be an easy one? Just shit, shit. Not all these people have been born in the wealth. Not all, some of them have married in the wealth. Yeah. You remember, remember the statistics. There's only one person. Or they earn one person for per, per household making money. Yeah, this guy's making enough. Ain't that crappy about life? Like when you look at the statistics and you see like that the the individual income for the highest earners like 120 thousand, but then the family income is only like 140. I mean, it's like yeah, if one person in the family is doing all right, then the rest of us we're we're good. This guy's making a lot of money. You know what I mean? Like that's it. That's all you need. Like it's wrong if you think about it. When you read those statistics to me, the only thing I can think of is like, wow, that is so wrong. Yeah. So, if one person, look at that size of that thing. Yo, man, I think I saw that, man. Bro, we haven't even seen the, fan I'm sure we haven't even seen the fanciest parts out here. We're just seeing like whatever we're landing. This is, we haven't even seen it, like really seen it. Bro, we live in, we've lived 20 years in Naples and we think this is fancy, go figure. Oh, Naples income can't even compare this out here. Yo, look at that side. That's so big, it's ugly. I wonder if it's gated. It's got a golf course. It's probably, no, it's, is it gated? It might be gated. If that's not gated, I'm going in there. Is it gated? This car's passing. Let's look at it. Let's keep going. No, I want to go in there. We got a lot of things Dude, to do Those houses today. are so big, it's ugly. They're, they're so big that they're ugly. Little Harp River? Yes. Harp? 
It might be gated. Is it gated? If it's not gated, I'm going in there. Is it gated? I can't believe these communities are not gated. Bro, they're not even gated. Look, you can just drive into them. <clears throat> though that I saw a house that was so big it, it actually looked ugly. It looked like a like a like a like a like a JC Penny or something. That is ridiculous, man. Bravo development. <laughs> White people jogging. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I got it from here. Look up some statistics on this town as far as uh, demographics and stuff. Population, demographics. We did it at the beginning, right? Yeah. Find out what the African American population is here. Oh, I can tell you that already. See, those are the type of comments that get us in trouble. Just find it. No, I remember it. You have bad memory. Just find it. I don't like the way you said whatever you said. You said. Fancy, fancy, fancy. We have a TJ Maxx here. It's a movie king. I'm sure there's a Starbucks here. Three percent. Three percent. Now, what's African American population for the state of Tennessee? There's snow there. Look, snow. They got snow. Yeah, man. it snowed like six days ago. For real? Yeah. They just got snow like sitting there. Mm-hmm. My stomach hurts. They got a Chick Fil A. No Popeyes here. They have to keep it. Yo, I gotta go mess in the snow. No way. For real, dude? They got snow up in here? Yeah. Hold on, man. These fools got snow? Hold on, y'all. I know we're in the middle of a video, but I have to go check this out. Take a picture of me in the snow. Say that to dad, man. Like, for real. No way, bro. Like, snow? You know what happens? If you send that to him, he's never going to come up here again. <laughs> Dude, they got snow up in this thing. So, you know what I think happens is, like, the snow melts, but then, the, like, the sleet and all that, like, it's harder, so it stays cold for longer. So, this is, like, dotting out snow. Bro, I never thought I would be doing this. My life has changed dramatically. Mm -hmm. Does love Florida? Yeah. Our life. Look at this Starbucks. Oh, it's a Chick fil A. Chick fil A. Look at the cars in that line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's another one. Ooh. Oh, oh, the people are fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy. We should come up here when it, we didn't. We should have came up here when it snowed. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing we haven't done. Yeah, it might, it might snow. It might again. still snow again. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you. Uh, We're still in February, so. This is Bricks Cafe right here. Mm -hmm. If you told me I would be doing videos in Nashville, yeah, like some months ago, I would have. We're eight months ago. We're in Florida. I'd be over here doing, bro. Nordstrom Rock. <laughs> Hello, Nordstrom. Mm -hmm. And they got TJ Maxx. Oh. I went to TJ Maxx here. It's amazing compared to ours. Mediterranean. They combined it with a Home Goods. Yeah, it's the same company. Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls are all the same. Yeah. And I've been fine from all three. <laughs> really? I was so lazy. Look at this little thing. Oh, here. cool. Yeah, it's fancy. You want to do donuts? I can take off the dry chicken throw. No. Not on a video. Even if the video wasn't recording, you don't like doing fun stuff. People drive a little aggressive. Those are the types of like ethnic stuff here, like Colombian and. Mm -hmm. Well, you think probably these people, they're coming from California, they're coming from like. You're gonna run over a curb. Go straight? Uh, who cares? They have people who place it here. <laughs> Fancy. 
fancy, fancy, fancy. Fancy, fancy, fancy. I think I see the Starbucks. Yeah, there's a huge line probably. We're gonna go to get Colombian. They open at 10, it's 9 40. Let's go to the Colombian place. And the Colombian place is actually near here. Mm -hmm. Colombia restaurant. They open at 10. They'll have. But they have bites a lot early, won't they? I don't know. 13 minutes away. We'll check it out. We'll have that more. I'm sure they'll have but they have bison okay. this early because it might just be like doing some breakfast thing. Yeah. I hope they're an authentic Colombian restaurant, not some Latin mix. I hate that. Like, like you go to a Cuban restaurant here in the south, you know, outside of like the Miami area and all that, and like they'll be having like tacos. Yeah, like tacos. I'm like, you're Cuban, That's right? That's offensive. It's <laughs> offensive. Like, it's I'm like, well, it's what the customers want. I'm like, well, tell them you're Cuban, you're not a Mexican. You know? Mm -hmm. Cuban man. You know, like, and the same thing, Mexican restaurants gotta do the same thing. They gotta have, like, arepas and stuff because that's what the customer wants. And they're in it to make money. They're not in it to represent their cuisine. I would be like, forget it. This is an authentic restaurant. You want tacos? Go to a Mexican restaurant. We're Colombian. You know what I mean? Or Cuban, whatever. A Cuba, man! You want to respect my cool and mine, mine, cool and mine. Do they have a town square center here? Like a real history. I don't think they got a historic town center here. This is amazing. I don't think they have like a historic town center here. Do they? Franklin does. But they don't here. We got people virtually vacationing on our channel with us. I think this is it right here. We got to go this way. Okay, dude, I'm from, I'm from Florida. I'm in my respect. <laughs> yeah, we have people like virtually vacationing on our channel with us. You know that, right? The Snooty Fox Gifts. Yeah, buddy. Shout out to everybody watching abroad, too. If you're watching from uh, England, Germany, aka COVID prison. Oh, this is cute down that way. The whole town, I think there's a little town center right yeah. here. Look, I'm going to go this way real quick. I'm going to show what's ever going on over there. So they just had snow here. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. That hasn't even melted yet. I think this is kind of like a town center. I'm not sure if they have a town center. I'm actually going to let Sarah talk to right me. Right onto US 31, North Franklin Road. North Franklin Road. Turn right onto US 31, North Franklin Road. North Franklin Road. Now, if I had money, this would be the place to do it. This is neat up here. Mm hmm. Have Starbucks in the morning, sit next to Dave Ramsey, and have him lecture you about your finances. <laughs> and Jose, you should not be having Starbucks right now. You should be having rice and beans. 600 feet. Rice and beans. Turn right onto Old Hickory Boulevard. He he's like inspired me to go on rants. Yes. Yes. Dave Ramsey has inspired me Use the right to not so to much right to save Hickory money Boulevard. and be responsible. But he's mostly inspired me. barbecue tacos. That's what I'm saying. Like everything's a fusion here. Burgers and tacos and barbecue all on the same poster. What the crap, man? Okay. These people are going to die from a heart attack. Here's a New Jersey life. Like, six miles. They're going to die from a heart attack. Autobahn. Man. Yeah, man. He's inspired me not as much to save money as much as he has to go on rants. Mm -hmm. That's really all I've gained from the man. Go on rants. You should like watch that Mad Money guy. You know what I should do? We should do like, yeah. like we know it'd be hilarious. Mm -hmm. Like do a rant, but not like a Dave Ramsey style rant mm -hmm. about like economy, like being responsible. We should do like a Dave Ramsey rant about how you should be a baller and spend money like you're crazy. Like you know, like the opposite, yeah. like a parody, like a Dave Ramsey parody. Mm -hmm. Or like I sit on my desk and I go on a rant about like how you should spend money, mm -hmm. like a parody. You know, like. Mm -hmm. Like a Dave Ramsey parody, but instead of about saving money, be like, you haven't put twenty twos on your car yet. <laughs> you paid your house off cash. You know how many rims you could have bought with that down payment. You could have had dubs. <laughs> like a parody where you're telling people to like the complete opposite of their yeah. clothes. Hey, there's a homeless person right there begging. Oh. Not bad. Ha. Yeah, Millbrook is better. We don't have homeless people, but well, we kind of do now with the private. Yeah, but the private likes it. I'm surprised the cops haven't made that homeless person disappear. Where we live is a dumb place where, like, the cops go up to the homeless person and be like, "All right, buddy, now look here." Where are you? 
here to take you somewhere. Atlanta, Atlanta's right down the road, and you can go there voluntarily and get you there our, our way. Almost got like, all right, sir, I'm not even homeless. I was just on crack. <laughs> You're on crack? Come here. We're going to crack your head open. <laughs> Let's give this guy some crack right now. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, it seems like cops where we live don't play. Look at this building. First watch, Life Point, and Firebird. What's that? Firebirds? Oh, man, you got the po po dog. I got the po po. Are we speeding? No, it's not for you. Cool. Maybe it's, they're going to the Colombian restaurant. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> There's more than just cheese inside of this box today, delivered. <laughs> this is a real authentic Colombian food. <laughs> I wish I could drive like a cop. Look at the view behind us. There's like a mountain covered in clouds behind us. That dog lives a better life than we do. You know, you saw the little dog sticking his head out of that Benz? Mm -hmm. There's a Burger King here. La Cucharita Colombiana. Bro, there's two Colombian places right next to each other. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Bro, this is like a Colombian neighborhood. There's two Colombian places. What? There are two Colombian places here. No way. Look at the little one that smells the best. And I wonder how these Colombian people are able to live in neighborhoods like this. Well, there's a lot of industry in Colombia, isn't there? There's a... Yeah. Dude, there's a Colombian community here. I thought it was one Colombian place. There's, there's actually two here. Yeah. Yo. There's like four or five in Nashville. In Nashville, yeah, there's a lot of Colombians here. There's a lot of Colombians here. Yeah, buddy. That Colombian money. Colombia. Que linda y buena. Bogota. Santa Marta. Barranquilla, Cartagena, Colombia, que linda y buena. I like listening to Colombian cumbias. And them Colombians, they get they get in that accordion. Around here, it's mostly gay. They get in that. They get to that accordion. So there's two Colombian restaurants here, and there's another Publix. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bro, you can live up here and have Colombian food. Mm -hmm. This place is sweet. Mm -hmm. Look at the Mary Kay Cadillac over there, the pink one. Mm -hmm. So there's. They could just have a pink one, Jose. There's two Colombian restaurants here. There's La Cuchara, and then there's we're going oh, to La Casita. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's um. There's two Colombian restaurants, La Cuchara Colombiana. They open at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. They're rated 4.4. And then there's Mi Colombia Restaurant. Mm -hmm. they're, open, they're both 4.4. Which one's better? This one's already open. One opens at 10. I guess we're going to go to the one that opens at 9. One open earlier. Mm -hmm. I think the ones that open earlier will be better, right? Yeah. They're more industrious. They open earlier. I don't know. Like the lazy restaurant that opens at 10. Sometimes the lazy people are the best ones. Yeah. I don't know. Dude, that's crazy. There's a Colombian community here. Maybe there's like a Latino hood around here. That's awesome. Look at another Starbucks. And another Publix. And another Starbucks. And another Publix. And another Starbucks. And another Publix. And another Starbucks. And another Publix. El Publi Man. Colombia. Que linda y buena. Santa. Athenian. Athenian? Yeah. That's Greek, right? Yes. Wow, dude, they got all types of Greek stuff out here. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's a hood we can afford. We should start looking and see if there's an area we can afford here in Nashville. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think there might be an area we can afford. I don't know if I'd want to live there, but we'll see. No, this is nice, man. I like it more than Atlanta for a fact. Yeah. I 
wish we could stay longer on the road. I want to go to Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah, we can't on this trip. We could go later in the week because it's later like two hours from Go house. home, do some jobs, let rest a little. Bright like a diamond, shine bright like a diamond, shine bright like a diamond, bright like a diamond, diamond, diamond plate tailgate. This girl, this girl's like a diamond plate tailgate. Yeah, diamond plate tailgate. Yeah, diamond plate tailgate. Piggly wiggly wiggly wiggly, piggly wiggly. This girl's got that piggly wiggly wiggly wig. I want to see her shake that piggly wiggly wiggly wig. She goes shopping at the piggly wiggly wiggly wig. She ain't got no hair. She wears a wig. That's wrong. Isn't that what we specialize in? Yeah. Wrong. 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 You're wrong. You're wrong. 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 You're wrong, wrong, wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong to leave me. You're right to stay. You're right to leave. Let's put all the litter right here. A little litter right there. Not too bad. This looks like Atlanta right here. That's what I'm talking about. This sounds like Atlanta feels Ooh, Kroger. Yeah, buddy, Kroger. Oh, they got Pepper. Look, there's a Colombian restaurant right there, right? Oh, yeah. Right there. Is that it? La Cucharita. Right. It's kind of be a junkie. What's eye junkies? A professional eye product repair. Cool. Mm -hmm. I like this place. It's very like Atlanta. It feels like Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Very nice. A mi me gusta que baile Marieta. Saborota y me enseña. I wonder if there's other Latin. You see, like, you're not going to have a Colombian community. Mm -hmm. it's just all by itself. You're going to have, like, a bunch of other. There's Cuban. Yeah, there's probably going to be... There is Cuban around here, but I'm not interested in Cuba right now. You're interested in... We're going to go to Cuba at home. Colombian, though? Mm -hmm. Music City Gyro. G Giro? Gyro? Euros. Giro. Euros. Why don't they just spell it Euro? I don't know. How that we got a Lowe's. Okay, this is deteriorating as we move this way. They have a Waffle House, a Bojangles, and a Lowe's. This community is deteriorating. Geico. 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 Geico me. Express car wash. Oh, the rain kind of washed our car. We all live in a yellow mobile home. Yellow mobile home. Yellow. That car's seen better days. Yes. Oh, I can see how there's Latinos living here. It's a little bit. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How far are we away, baby? There's a food truck. This is like a Latino. Super hood. Latino yeah, market. This is a Latino hood. With for Thunderia. real, man. Yeah, bro. This is a Latino hood. Oh man. This neighborhood kind of deteriorated quickly. Got a here. Kind of surreal. It's kind of deteriorated quickly. You went from like. Mm -hmm. Where's the food? Head it's over there. A little bit Cedar further. Drive. Yeah, this then deteriorated right quickly. Yeah. This deteriorated quickly. It went from like really Fruits. fancy, to like really hood, like a heartbeat. Is there a there? Dude, this was deteriorated so quickly. We went from like mm -hmm. fancy to hood and like a heartbeat. They got hoods here. They gotta have hoods. Turn Everywhere right got hoods. Somebody's gotta, the right thing is, somebody's gotta cut those lawns. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Somebody's gotta cut the lawn. Somebody's gotta trim the tree. Somebody's gotta Turn paint right the gutters. And Boulevard. it's probably Carlos from Honduras who's 320 pounds even though he has to climb on ladders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ever notice how painters are always fat? It's like once you're a, like a Latino and you're overweight, you don't really have any options. You can't climb on a roof. You can't. Oh my gosh! What? A Circuit City truck. <laughs> Aren't they out of business? Yes. Yeah. The Columbia place is up ahead. Yeah. The offset Brentwood. Yeah, this kind of went. So they have a hood even. Like there's a hood. We can live here. Mm -hmm. We can afford to live here. There's a hood. Well, I'm not living in the hood again. Ah, oh, come on, baby. You don't miss people throwing a party to three in the morning next across the street. No, I don't. 
you don't miss getting shot at every once in a while. Actually, we're more likely to get hit by a stray bullet where we live by accident than we already get yeah. shot on purpose where we live. Uh, Your destination I think we're going to go to the other Columbia restaurant. What is going on here? They turned a gas station into a restaurant. Uh, are we going to eat here? Yeah. <laughs> it looks nice. All right, let's do it. 